Hello everybody, what's growing on? This is Paul with Fruitful Trees and I am making another video for you today about avocados. Why do I make so many videos about avocados? Well, it's the food I eat the most. I am a raw food vegan and some of you might agree with that, some might not, but some of you grow food for a passion. Some of you like to taste good homegrown food amongst your other food, but for me, this is what I eat. I live on fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds exclusively. I don't need anything else. So of all the fruits and vegetables I grow, first of all, I gotta look at what grows best in my area. Uh, and, and the number one thing that grows in my area is mangoes, but mangoes is only a limited season in the summertime. Avocado is uh, also limited in its season, but the season is much longer if you get a good amount of varieties. There's three different seasons when it comes to mangoes. There's early, middle, and late. With avocados, you have avocados in the summer, you could have some in the winter, and you could have some in the spring or fall. It doesn't cover all year, but I think the, the time it can cover can be a lot longer. But the main reason why uh, I do so many videos on avocados and I love avocados is because it's the thing I eat the most. Mangoes, to me, as great as they are and as wonderful as they taste, they're still like a special treat. Avocados, are a meal. Now trust me, I make meals out of my mangoes, uh, but avocados I literally eat in so many different ways in recipes that I make and in so many different ways. And if I had to pick one food, and it's a great question for all of you, uh, if I had to pick one food that I could grow only one food, it would be avocados. And the reason being is, again, because I, I make so many recipes with with the avocados and it's just wonderful. Now, my avocados trees are, are just starting to uh, uh, come into season and, and also start to mature. But my neighbor, he planted his trees like the same time I did, but I moved my trees around and I, I, I didn't have as much experience as he did and just, or as much patience as he did. And, and his mangoes are flourishing now. And I have some mango trees that I didn't, uh, avocado trees, sorry, that I didn't move that are still uh, doing well as well. But I have a lot that are new that I learned from him. I came here and I taste them. I'm like, I gotta get those. And right now what he has in season here is, is uh, uh, several different types and he just ran out of season. So this tree behind me is loaded, loaded. And I'm loving it. And so I do, I'm doing as much research on avocados, as much knowledge as he has. He hasn't tasted all of them either or grew all of them. He has one tree in his front yard that he grew and he didn't like it. He didn't like it. So he, he pretty much cut it down and put a new variety on it. And some of the varieties he's gotten from my trees that aren't even avoca have avocados on it yet. And he brings them here and he puts them on his trees. Uh, but uh, we, we pretty much have uh, the same amount of trees or the same type of trees. Uh, we have a couple of different ones, but when we graft to each other, we get good. It's great to have neighbors that are around that have similar foods. But what food is yours? If you could only grow one food, what would it be? For me, my old answer would have been coconuts because I love coconuts. And when I first moved to my house, I was going to just plant only coconut trees. But now I've cut down all my coconut trees as I've learned and people know why I've done that. If you watch my videos and so on, I have no coconut trees now. Love coconuts. Uh, that was going to be my number one choice, but uh, avocados. Now the only problem is lemons would be another choice. Uh, that wouldn't be the only food I would grow, but I would like to have a lemon because lemon is another food that I eat every day. But citrus doesn't grow here that well, and uh, but avocados do. And uh, so that's my food is avocado. So I, I came out here and I saw all these amazing avocados here. And the other day he showed me his uh, Choquet avocado tree. So I, I, I got a question today and I figured I'd do this. Uh, I made a video recently and I'll put a card up here about how I do my fruit research. And I should have called it my mango research because uh, there's, there's uh, several websites I go to and check it out for mangoes, the seasons, the taste and all this and the reviews. And somebody just said, I just saw the comment, you should do one for avocados. So I said, I'm gonna do one for avocados, but I figured I'd come out of here first and, and just show this amazing tree. <laughs> that one looks a little yellow, but no, it'll green it up and there's so many on here. And so I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna show you 
how I do my research because I go to visit Alex at Tropical Acres Farms and he has 40 different varieties of avocados and he has a lot of wisdom with different avocados. So uh, I spent a lot of time in my mind thinking about avocado trees and, and avocados like mangoes, it's skeptical if you wanna plant them up front because if this tree's up front, everyone in our neighborhood's either asking or just taking <laughs> your fruit. And uh, so check it out. I'm gonna uh, go and do a little video here now and show you how I do my research for different avocados and and yeah, two of the ways I could tell you is one way is I come here to my neighbor and I talk to him. I taste his avocados that are growing on the tree. If I go to the store and I see them growing avocados, uh, or not growing out of time, if I go to the store and I see them selling avocados, I'll, I'll buy that avocado and I'll try to look at the little sticker and see if there's a name on them, if I can identify them or not. We get a lot of avocados here in South Florida from Dominican Republic, but there's just no names and there's uh, a farm down in Miami called Brooks and they always have Slim Cottos and all these other avocados that don't really have names where you can go and buy those avocados, but uh, I've tasted a good amount of different types of avocados and I like when I have the sticker on them or I could identify them. So I come over here to my neighbor's yard sometimes and he gives me some of his and, and sometimes I, I might find somebody like Alex who has a farm and they might just tell me how their avocados do. And just because avocados do good in one place, and this goes for all fruit, doesn't mean it will do good in another or vice versa. It doesn't mean it will do bad if it's bad in one place. So I know people that have planted two fruit trees right next to each other. One did great and one didn't. There's many different factors and sometimes the reason is known, but sometimes there's not. My neighbor here, he has uh, a two lemon zest trees. One of them is a graft and one's a, a, a tree that's a graft but planted. But the graft that he put on the tree is loaded every year. And the one that's in the ground still doesn't get uh, much fruit. So <clears throat> there's a lot of things to learn about your own particular property and what you're doing and how you're planting. He's got it going on with the avocados here. He's the avocado man, he's wonderful. And and uh, I'm, I'm excited about, I got my avocados in the ground. Uh, a lot of them are much newer, but but I'm excited about that. So. I'm gonna show you how I do my research and then I'll show you a little bit about what I got growing on with my avocados. All right, everybody, this is a time where we're gonna look at how I do my avocado research. And then I'm gonna show you my yard and show you what's growing on in my yard. And there's a lot of other videos and, and websites I'm not mentioning that I've learned from, uh, but uh, particularly I'm gonna show you how I do my research when I want to find out about uh, avocados and things like that. Uh, I do want to mention, I got a lot of my fruit trees from a fellow here in West Palm Beach named Leaf, and he's on uh, Facebook, and I'll put his contact along with everyone else's contact I'm going to show you here uh, in the contacts. He's the one that told me about the Maria Black avocado and also sold me some of my other avocado trees. He's a good resource. Uh, but here's the websites I'm going to show you now. He doesn't have a website. He's on Facebook, uh, so I'll put his info below. All right, everybody. So here's different websites that I look at uh, and uh, <clears throat> the ones I look at the most when I'm doing my avocado research. Uh, the first one is uh, Tropical Acres Farms, and this is near my house, and we go there a lot. They do primarily mangoes, but they have a wonderful uh, display of avocados there. They have 40 different trees, and there's a whole bunch of of, of varieties on their website and, and each variety. So when you go to a variety and you click on it, so let's go to a variety and click on it. Let me show you uh, how great they are. So let's go to the Lula. So you click on it and it gives you, then you click here, it's going to give you a bunch of information of where the history of the tree, when it was planted, the avocado uh, and the trees, how they do at their property here and a whole bunch of information and what flower type they are. This is such a great resource, this website. So I really uh, uh, go here a lot uh, for, for, for mangoes and avocados. And I'm so blessed to live near this farm where I get to go there often and, and do interviews. And here's another avocado, the Monroe avocado. My neighbor had one as I showed you and I, I tasted that. And you see each avocado has different season. And that's one of the primary reasons I do the research because as I said, I wanna have avocados throughout most of the year. So that's one website. 
Another website, which I find very helpful, is uh, this one. And I forgot to put this in my last research video, but I do use this often. And I put it in the description of the last video, but I forgot to mention it. It's this website, Pine, uh, Pine Island Nursery. Now, they're a nursery in Homestead, Florida. But the amazing thing is they have this variety of viewer. So they have mangoes, sapodilla, lychee, dragon fruit. And then you come click on avocados. And then uh, just like uh, all the other ones, uh, they, uh, the, all the other fruits, they have a good uh, thing. For example, I'll show you here. This. So sapodillas, they have a whole bunch. But you go to the avocado one, and they give uh, a lot of good information. So here's a Catalina. I have a Catalina tree. And so it has some information here, good pictures. But this is very helpful. It has the season. And then it, it, the flower type the tree size, but then it has this little radar, radar thing, the fruit quality, production, crop consistently, commercial planting and home planting. So that's, that's very helpful as well. And they do that on all the avocados. Now they don't have as much of avocados as the previous site, but uh, still a, a good <clears throat> amount of different avocados. And then they have information here about avocados. Uh, it says here, uh, the avocado in this time is male and female phases uh, and then variety to variety. Each avocado flower is open for two days. The type A variety is open female in the morning of the first day and male in the afternoon of the second day. The B type uh, variety is open female in the afternoon and the first day and male in the morning of the second day. It's absolutely necessary to have. It is absolutely unnecessary, good information to have, an A and B uh, type present for pollination to occur. So it's unnecessary, okay? It says some varieties, however, do pollinate themselves better than others. And the varieties that have a low score for crop consistency, commercial planting and home planting are amongst these varieties. So this is really a, a, a great tool here. Uh, best commercial varieties, it talks about uh, these here and best dooryard varieties so for local yards so in the early you got simmons and then mid you got miguel and then choquette is late so so that's good you see but here's their season uh, early mid and late so uh, another resource uh, just like i showed you again in the last in the last uh video was <clears throat> truly tropical now they have some videos on on, on avocados, they do mostly mangoes, but they have some videos on avocados, decent ones, but uh, at the farm that they bought, they, they're, uh, there's a hundred year old avocado tree that is pretty cool. But what I really love about uh, Chris here, she goes on field, field, field trips and she went on a field trip to this, this person's place. This is uh, Julian from Laura Farms. And in this clip here and several clips, uh, he's great. I'm going to show you his website next. He talks about February, March, and April, so it's been 20 years ago. the different types of avocados and, and this one particular avocado. So he goes and he finds them and he grafts them. And there's this one called a Ronnie. And it's, uh, and, and, you know, so he really gets, this is a great video and I, I, it's a short clip where they talk about avocados, very helpful. And I went to, uh, to see Lillian and I went to Laura Farms and I did an interview there as well. Uh, really, really wonderful. Both of them are good resources. Uh, so to find out his website, which is really cool. We're going to go to his, uh, website now. This is the website for Laura Farms. And he has grafted avocado trees. Now he only has five varieties at his farm. He spoke about more varieties on the video, but he has the Haas, the Simmons, Laura One, Oro Negro, and Ronnie. Now I'll have to interview, next time I see him, I'll have to interview him and see why he picked these five. I know why he picked the Ronnie, because that's the one he spoke about. Oro Negro and these other ones, I'm gonna have to talk to him about that and I will next time I go down there. But uh, this site is wonderful, and he has a lot of knowledge about avocados. And I also met another guy who has, uh, he plants avocados. He plants five avocados right next to each other. They're all thriving. And 
what was really cool is some of these, nobody even knows these names or they're not really popular avocados in it. He says they're delicious and it's thriving. So there's so many different varieties, just like mangoes of avocados out there. A lot of people don't even know, but these are the ones that are known. And then the last place I want to mention is uh, this place here uh, or this website here. Uh, this fellow here, I haven't met him, Sleepy Lizard on YouTube. And he has a, a mango farm in, in the Everglades. And, and he has really cool uh, avocado videos, how to graft them, all about them, and his farm. This guy would know. He has a lot of different places. So here he is showing how to graft it. But uh, he, he seems like a really uh, knowledgeable uh, person uh, who has a big passion for avocados. And here's his website. Uh, his website is uh, guacfarm.com. There he is. So I'm uh, going to and try to take a, a visit to him and see if that what happens with that. But that's he has good videos on YouTube. So go check out his YouTube page, which is Sleepy Lizard. So that's just some of the research. And I'm going to put all these resources below the video. I'll put all these resources uh, below the video. So you can just click on them and you can check out all these different places. Now I want to take you to my yard and show you what I got growing on there with the avocados. All right, so there you have it. That's how I do my research for avocados. And uh, let me show you some of the avocado trees that I have growing on in my properties here. This one, I actually had two trees at another property. And when I got this property, I moved them. And this one right away survived. I cut it, it was about double the size. It was on the side of a townhouse. And every winter it got a good amount of avocados. Now I know one of these two avocados is a Lula avocado. They're good avocados, they're decent. Uh, they give a ton of avocados, uh, but I cut it, it survived. I actually root pruned it. Now there was another one I root pruned that I took and I'm not sure yet until I get avocados, which one was which. I didn't know the name of this one, but it didn't do as good as the other one. I thought it was dead. I really thought it was dead, but it started growing back. So I'm really excited about that. And we'll see how it goes. It's uh, looking good. It's gonna come along here. All right, so uh, then there's a Tyler avocado that I got that I recently <laughs> Went over with the lawnmower, so I'm going to replace that. And I have a super house here as well. Uh, so those are three avocados here at this property. Now, just hold on here. I said I love avocados, right? And I do so much research. You might say, why you only got three avocado trees and you did all this research? Well, let me show you what's growing on at my main property here and show you all the different avocados i got and again as i said i love all different varieties of fruits and i got uh, many different types of fruit trees and different varieties but for me they're not my favorite 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 but they're my most important food the avocado because i use it more than any other food in terms of food that i can grow i love all the other food that i have grown but i love that one so here's what i got growing on here I have this avocado here in my front yard, Oro Negro avocado. And that's in season here. This tree is looking wonderful. Unfortunately, there's not as many on this tree as this on my neighbor's tree, but the tree's looking great. I remember when I first had this tree and it was small, I had a whole bunch of mulch dumped right on top of it by accident. And I thought it was dead, but it's coming back it's looking good so that's uh that's my most productive tree oh by the way look at this this is crazy look at all these miracle fruits on here wow i never seen that many that's wild okay anyway here's a day avocado that i got growing on a day avocado and here's a ronnie avocado remember when i was talking about in my video about ronnie and uh julian at Julian, uh, at Laura Farms, that's the Ronnie avocado. So yes, I have three avocados in my front yard here and I don't necessarily wanna put avocados in my front yard, uh, but I do, they're green, so it's hard to see, but when somebody finds it, 
I don't mind sarin, but but uh, a lot of people want them. And here's another one. This one uh, is a choquette. Now again, I planted mine the same time my neighbor planted his, but I had had to move it. One died, and I finally got another one at this spot. And it's big. I mean, next year it's going to be popping. It's, it's really big here. So that's a choquette. And we'll come around and show you guys some more. What I got growing on. Everything is looking wonderful now. We just had a nice rain. So here's a Super Haas avocado. Super Haas. Looking nice. Now, I got a lot of avocados off of this in the first year. When I bought this tree, it was a, I think a 25 gallon or maybe a 15 gallon. It was a big tree. I bought it, I paid over $200 for it. In the first year it was loaded with avocados, but none of them ripened even. Now the problem was it was straight up and it was tipping over and I cut the top. Maybe I cut it too soon when all the avocados were on there and the ones on the bottom, but they didn't really ripen even. So I haven't had much yet. I have a super avocado at that other property I just showed you. And that one's loaded with avocados right now, waiting to see how they come out. I had my first successful avocado graft on this tree. Uh, this is a Monroe avocado that I just was practicing and it worked. <laughs> so that's great. And that's when I really started to up my avocado game. And I really wanted to, this was only last year I planted this one. This was a planted as a 15 gallon. This is a Simmons, a Simmons avocado. And then I have this Alex at Tropical Acres, as I showed you, this is a Dupuis avocado. I just moved this from the other property here. It's small enough where I can move it and hopefully it wouldn't be affected, but I, I like this spot better for it because I could look at this right on my window and see it. And I wanna, I wanna be able to be as close as possible to that. And this was my Monroe avocado. This was at the other location as well, but there's a water irrigation system here and the avocados don't like to sit in water, but during a drought, I think they need water. So I wanted to make sure they, they had that source. At this location, I have a well, so at least I'll have water and I, I'm all out in spots for trees, but I got this here, that's Monroe avocado. And I tasted a Maria Black avocado and I was like, wow, this is a good avocado. I had to get it and I had a lemon tree here that wasn't doing as well as it could have. It wasn't doing bad, but I remember asking somebody about uh, how do I grow lemons here? And they said, you're a grown man and you're asking me about growing citrus or lemons. Uh, I only have limited space, but uh, avocado, this one is a Maria black avocado. And if there's one avocado I could recommend possibly that I've tasted, that I've seen growing amazing, Maria black. And the first person to tell me about that was Leaf. I'll put his contact below. He sells tr trees here. I, I had them on my research list here that you just saw. Now this tree is loaded here. This is a very interesting tree. This avocado tree is loaded with avocados right now. I don't know what it is. I was told it was a Brogdon, Brogdon avocado, but I brought it to Alex at Tropical Acres and he said, that's not a Brogdon avocado. Uh, that they're not even in season now. So after doing some research, I found mm -hmm. out it might be a winter Mexican avocado. Whatever it is, it's amazing. And Alex also said it might be a day avocado. Well, I'm gonna, when this ripens, bring them over to him and we're gonna find out exactly what it is. So I'm just glad it tastes good. And sometimes mislabeling can create a problem. And then here's another problem. I mean, another avocado that's not a problem. I'm really liking this one. This one is, uh, it's growing really nice. It's a Catalina, Catalina avocado. So that's looking nice. And there you have it. How do you do your research to find out what trees you're gonna plant where, when, and how on your limited space, or if you're not limited, uh, what you plant where and why? We're all learning here in this together. So please put your information below I found some really good avocado channels on the internet uh, besides all the resources I showed you today.
All right, everybody. So uh, as I said in the video, uh, I'm still learning. We're all still growing and learning. And uh, But these people that I've, I've referenced here today, I think they have a lot of knowledge about the history and 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 all, all just all about the avocados. So definitely uh, check them out if you're interested and you have a passion for avocados like I do. And put your comments and questions below if you've tasted different varieties, uh, what has done good for you, what hasn't done good for you. Let me know uh, and let us know because it's very helpful. There's also the tropical fruit form that I mentioned last time. You can go on there and find out some good information. I'll put that link below the video because that's very helpful as well. But until then, everybody, thank you for watching. Please, if you like the video, subscribe and uh, give this video a thumbs up. Until then, everybody, have a great day and keep growing.